Hello, good morning everybody. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, today I wanted to share with you what I've been um, making. Uh, my good friend Laura Bame and I have agreed to do a journal swap. Um, and we're both on Andrea Allen, that's Artie Mazer's design team. So we said that we would pick one of her kits to use and we both wanted to use the sewing theme kit. So we've made each other a journal um, out of um, Andrea's sewing theme kit. Um, really interesting to see how each of, the, each of us have used those different kits. Um, and this one here is the journal that I've made um, for Laura from that kit. Um, I gave her the choice of the covers before I actually put the decoration on the front. Um, and this is the one that she chose. So if I just show you the cover briefly, um, this image is actually from um, Tailor Made Journals, um, Lorna. Um, and I've used a few of her um, images from her sewing kit because they just complemented Artie Mazer's um, sewing theme kit so well. So you'll see a few of those throughout as well. So the journal cover that I've made, it's soft cover, which is what we both agreed to do. And the, I think you call this crazy quilting where you put, you start, I think I started with this piece of fabric here. Um, and then you you just add pieces of fabric to it and I've put some ribbon trim on as well. So it's got a, um, a vintage doily there and some lace trim and I've put um, a pair of scissors and a sewing needle charm there. And then the Tim Holtz safety pin there actually says snippets. And I thought that was quite appropriate because it's all snippets in here. So this is winging its way to Laura. So I'm not going to put um, do a flip through of that one because I don't want Laura to see what's on the inside. I want her to have a little bit of a surprise when it gets there. Um, but while I was making Laura's, um, I made a second journal and I will give you a flip through of this one. So again, it's made with Artie Mazer's sewing theme kit. I really like that kit. I've used it a few times now. Um, the last one that I did was the Taylor of Gloucester. Um, so this, again, is a soft cover. Made the same as the one that I've made for Laura. Um, so it's quilted. It's um, If it is called crazy quilting, it's crazy quilting. And on the front, I've used an image. Um, again, that's an image from Taylor Made Journals. And I've put a vintage... A crochet doily on there and these are vintage buttons on here as well and a little sewing machi machi machine <laughs> sewing machine charm on the end there um, and I've actually made a, a second booklet to accompany this journal I'll just show you that before we go into the main one so again I've used Artie Mazer's papers on here and this was a, an envelope journal or an envelope um, to go pocket to go into a journal and I'll put a link to Andrea's tutorial below for that. Um, so if I just take the ribbon off. So this is made from two envelopes um, and I've covered it with Artie Mazer's papers. And then on the inside I've put a journal in it um, but I've also added, I'll call it a page of felt. Um, and that you can actually put your pins, that bit opens up so you can put more pins or I've put some bull pins in there. I've included some of the little um, name name quotes from um, Mrs. Cog's sewing quotes so that you can decorate it if you want to. I have those left over. And then there's in the little pocket here you can put things like your, your cottons. And then, as, as I say, it's got some pages all the way through it. Um, I haven't decorated it because I thought it would be useful to have if you've got a sewing project. You can make a note of what you're doing. Just a little couple of pockets in the middle, a couple of um, large poppers, and then, of course, the piece of felt at the back. And then it has pockets. So it's got a pocket just there, a pocket there, and one at the tag at the top. And then in the back, again, it's got a tag that goes in the side there, a tag there, and one at the top. So that's just a little extra that comes along with this journal. So it's got some vintage papers in there and just some extra journaling space. So 
I just enjoyed making it and I, it, I thought it was nice. It's quite sturdy. So I thought it would be nice to accompany the main journal. So if we have a look inside here, I think it measures about eight and a half by six and a quarter ish. Um, and I think there's around 80 pages front and back and it's tied with, um, is it like an organza ribbon? It's quite fine. Then on the inside, I've put a, a I was going to say a plastic pocket. I've lost my words this morning. <laughs> Fabric pocket there as a tuck spot. So I've just decorated that with a cut that out. And then here I've put, um, th it's a vintage packet of um, buttons. So they're spare buttons that came with a suit that somebody had. So I've just included that. I don't have much vintage ephemera. I think that's about all I've had really. <laughs> but it just went well with this and it's been sat in my little drawer. So I thought it was time to use it with something. So on the first page, this is Tim Holt's paper here. So I've put a little um, pa paper bobbin or card bobbin there with some thread wrapped round it and a little charm that's a pair of scissors and a stamp here. These, if you watch my previous video, video, Laura's actually sent me some of her trims and things to use. So this card is from Laura um, and so is the trim and then I've stamped it with Tim Holtz. And there's a little tuck spot there with a card in. So most of the um, cards are from um, Taylor Made, but the kit is um, Andrea's. Beautiful, I love this image of this lady. And this is why I went with red, because of the colors in it. So there's a journaling card there. And then I've put a double pocket here with a couple of journaling cards in. And then I've made a paper ruffle there out of the instructions from a sewing kit, a uh, sewing pattern. And then this is a vintage sewing pattern um, for trousers. And it was quite um, torn around the edges. So I've backed it with the instructions. And then again, I've got one of the little glassine bags here from, from Laura. And the tags as well are hers. I love these little envelopes. Um, this is a, a vintage iron-on transfer. It's, it is quite delicate, but I thought it went well. Uh, one of my coffee dyed papers, a vintage book page about sewing, knitting pattern. So if you fancied knitting the cardigan, then you've got the pattern now. Again, Andrea's beautiful papers, and that's a vintage sewing machine on that one. And then there's a tuck spot here, and I've put another page from the um, sewing book that I've got. I think it's from about the 1940s or 50s, the sewing book. Um, this is a fabric flip and I've just put different, I've sewn different stitches in different colours, um, different stitches that I had on my sewing machine. I just thought that went well with a sewing kit. And then I've used one of the papers from Andrea here to do, use as a flip. So if I just pull it down, you can see it flips up and there's a journaling card in there. Can you see that? Sorry, my camera's not quite. There we go. And then there's another journaling card in here. Lovely image there. So again, lots of space in this one to journal. If you've got any projects that you want to do. A uh, vintage book page there, uh, a book that I've got with tapestries in. Another book page. This is a vintage um, magazine, sewing magazine. Then again, little tuck spot here. Love that image there of that little girl. And I've tried to use some little snips of lace or fabric um, because I thought a sewing book, that's what you would have in it. And then I've just fussy cut that little girl on there. And again, that's just a collage. Another of the um, cotton spools there. And that's just a collage as well. This was actually wrapping paper that I had, but I liked it, the lace effect. Another vintage page there, and then another page from Artie Mays. Then here, um, I've used one of the tags that Laura sent me, an alteration tag, and I've attached a um, tea bag, a large tea bag. Um, I was gifted a couple, um, so I've put that on there, and you, so that you can still see through it. And it is actually a double tuck, but I've only put one journal card in, and that's that image that I like so much 
from Andrea's kit that just fits in there and then behind that there's just a journaling card and then um, this is um, on Andrea's web page she has some freebies and there's some sewing themed freebies on there and I've just photocopied them onto um, tissue paper and then this is pattern paper that I've just put over the edge of the page another page out of the vintage sewing book I love these dresses I wonder how comfy they were to wear um, it says cute as a button and that's one of the sewing theme quotes from um, Mrs Cog and this pocket is the tissue paper pattern and that little girl I think certainly is cute as a button and there's little lace there as well um, this pocket is made from the instruction paper again so it's folded up so that says don't needle the seamstress and there's a seamstress there and then there's a journaling card oops, in there that I've just um, put some decoration on. And then again this is just fussy cut out um, from some of the images on um, tailor made journals and then that little image there as well. Uh, sewing machine, this is how to use your sewing machine. Um, again from the book that I had and again this page is pale enough for, for you to write on if you wanted to um, and then the lovely page here from the kit I think that's one of my favourites and at the bottom there I've put some charms that are little um, bobbins the other pocket of the folded up instruction page so I've used one of the images there as a pocket that's how I feel sometimes trying to thread a needle then I don't know where I got this card from but I just like that it was pale it it just went so nicely um, with the lady image and the lace again and again that's um, wrapping paper and then on the other side of that again I've got one of the fussy cut ladies and a little journaling card and I just thought that went really nicely with the orange CD case, it's not a pop, it's a pocket at the back, but the CD case isn't a pocket. And it says you can't buy happiness, but you can buy fabric. And again, it's got little fabric flips on there. And I've put the image inside and put the lady on the front. Another journaling card, different sewing machines. Again, the book page. This comes off the page, so it's it just literally it just hangs over the page so you can take it out. So it's a paper bag pocket and this is one of Laura's um, paper bags and um, doilers that she sent me. And this says keep calm and grab the seam ripper. Um, and I, th I think we do that quite often. And that doily goes over it. And then the other side, um, you can write on that part and then it flips. Sorry, it would flip that way, wouldn't it? Flips that way and there's a journaling card in there as well. And then that literally just hangs over. Sorry, and there's the, the card in there. And that's um, one of Andrea's long tags that she has in her kits. That's just hanging over there. And again, I've put the um, pattern paper on there. And then this paper of Andrea's, it's, it's like the pattern paper on it. It's got those images, so it looks like pattern paper. Those basks again. More book page. And again, that's just decoration on the page. And again there. And then this was left over from the cover when I was making it because I wasn't sure how wide to make it. Um, so I ended up cutting this piece off. So I backed it and used it as a pocket. More book pages. All of these are vintage ones. Then um, Andrea has such lovely envelopes in her kits. And so this one, I've put some ribbon and trim on there. And then it's got one of Andrea's beautiful cards inside. And again, I've lined it with the um, pattern paper. And then there's a journaling card there. So that's some paper that I had left over of Andrea and I fussy cut the ladies out and put some of the um, wrapping paper on there. 
the double pockets that I love in Andrea's kits. And I've put a couple of Mrs. Cog's postcards in there with the sewing theme. And that says, measure twice, cut once, and sewing mends the soul. And they just fit in there. They were just the right size. The rest of that knitting pattern, should you want to make those cardigans. And again, one of the tracing uh, tissue paper images there. The back of that um, iron-on transfer. This is one of the envelopes that Lorna sent me, the glassine ones, if you look at my previous um, video. And then there's a journaling card in there. I mean, you could decoupage over these envelopes, but I just I wanted to be able to see through it. And then again, one of Andrea's beautiful images there. And that's the back of the um, sewing pattern. Then the window envelope here with a couple of images. I am at a funny angle here. And then here on this one, lovely little girl sat there sewing. I don't think little girls do that anymore, but they used to, didn't they? I know I did when I was a little girl. A uh, pocket here that, again, I think that's Tim Holt's paper. And a large journaling card there. Um, this paper, actually, from Andrea, I think it's from her time for tea kit that I had left over. And some more fabrics. And then in the back here, this is um, in Andrea's kit, There's a, it's like a needle pocket um, and a an old needle case of old-fashioned type. And I've just put some papers in there. And again, I've backed it with the um, pattern. Sorry if there's a noise outside. It's typical Sunday morning here that people come out and do jobs outside. And then I've included a couple of journaling cards here as well. And put that lady on there. So that is my um, latest design team project for Andrea, um, along with the extra little journaling book and the swap that I've done with Laura. So that'll be going in the post to Laura tomorrow. This one um, will be for sale. It's not going to go into Etsy. Um, I'll put details below of how you can contact me if, should you be interested in it. Um, any comments, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, and Andrea, thank you so much for this kit. I've really enjoyed working with it. And I've got some ideas for another kit as well to use, uh, another journal to make with it as well. So watch this space. But thank you so much for the opportunity to work with your kit. And I hope that everybody has enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>